guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be doing a speed build on my forever island, Honeyland. Yes, this island still exists. I still play on it. I'm going to go ahead and place Maple's house right here. I think Maple is a cutie and I'm going to give her a little bit of an apiary. Ooh, big shocker. I know, I know, big surprise. It, it is very basic. I actually plan on having an apiary on this island anyway. It is going to be like a farm foresty kind of island. So that just fits in perfectly with my island theme. And I wanted to do it. And what better villager to have than Maple run the apiary? Besides that, she's super cute. I needed to put her somewhere. This seemed as good a spot as any. We're right above the orchard. I'm just kind of moving back on my island and throwing up builds and seeing what, what happens, basically. So we're going to make a path. I have a feeling that the back area behind this is going to be elevated a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how. So I'm just going to make it seem like if I'm going to travel, be able to travel in that direction. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to travel in that direction, and but I'm just not exactly sure what's going to happen with it. So I just left it open for right now, and then hopefully when inspiration strikes, I'll figure it out. The first thing I do in every single build is plant some trees. I like to have a little bit of framing. The trees are like a good frame, you know? I have to make sure there's big items and um, I want to place them down towards the back of a build because then it brings your attention in and it frames the area really nicely. Now I am not able to time travel in order to customize Maple's house, but her house will be customized a little bit. I think I'm just going to change her door to green and call it because her house is fine. Um, but I can't time travel right now because at this point I needed to villager hunt and I wanted to wait and do it on stream and not spend the time I would be building this. So I'm just going to lay down some items that I think would look cute in this area before I put a bunch of flowers around. Now the apiary does call for a lot of flowers, but I do not plan on going full meadowcore the way I did on my last 30 day island. It is not going to be the yeet flowers everywhere island, I promise. We're just putting flowers to kind of set the tone for what you would see, like bees like flowers. So I, I don't know, it just seems appropriate in a, in a natural apiary, right? It does, it just feels right. So I would imagine beehives being in like trees and fields of flowers and whatnot. So I kind of want to make sure that I have all of that nature here, which means I'm going to be putting a lot of flowers. I know, I know, I know. Um, it's not, it's not, I, I promise. I was teased about this yesterday, so I was really sensitive about it. No, it's not going to be the yeet flowers everywhere island. Although I do love yeeting flowers everywhere, it is awesome. Like flowers are beautiful and I feel like they make every area look full and vibrant and happy. Flowers make people happy. I like happy, so you know what? It's fine, flowers are good. We love flowers. We stand flowers here. But no, I'm just um, putting down some little um, wasps and bees. I just like the variation of having both wasps and bees on this um, build. Like, I know that like bees are the technically the ones, the honeybee is technically the one that makes the most sense. But I felt like the wasp models went well here as well. And now I'm just gonna throw some flowers and bushes around. I'm basically just gonna run back and forth and grab more flowers and place them around and then kind of fill out the area here with flowers. I don't know if you guys have ever done this. The island colors are green, yellow, and white um, for flowers, and we only have one green flower. So it's basically white and yellow with a hint of green. And I don't know why the color yellow has been making me extremely happy lately. I mean, I don't know. It's like the color of sunshine, right? So of course it seems like a very happy color, but every time I see those yellow flowers, those bright yellow flowers, they just make me incredibly happy. And I love that. So we want as much happiness as we can get around here. 
And then I'm putting just the last items I have in my pocket. Of course I had to have some buckets for the honey, like honey buckets, buckets of honey. You know, we had to have that going on over here. I don't know why I put a random plant over there, but I thought it just looked cute. Honestly, there was this point in my gameplay where I truly, truly fell in love with plants. And it was around the same time that Sparksby made a plant core island. I don't, the two aren't related at all, but I happened, actually happened to find her because I was making an island where I was using just a ton of plants. And it wasn't like a plant core island per se, but it had a, it definitely was utilizing all of the plants in the game. I really, really loved all of the plants. If you guys remember that island, I think it was Neverland. It was one of the first ones. And I the island ended up turning out gorgeous. I ended up finishing my islands before I found that one. But it ended up turning out gorgeous. And I did. It just reaffirmed my love. Like, I felt like my love of plants was validated through Sparksby and that time. For some reason, something about the plants in this game just made me happy. Maybe because I can't keep them alive in real life, right? Like, I am not, like, the most greenest of thumbs, for sure. And I definitely am not good with, like, keeping plants alive and things like that. But I love nature, and I love plants, and I love the way it looks. I just don't know how to keep it alive. It's not something that's ever been in my wheelhouse or something that I've ever had to learn. Look at Mabel in her little Christmas outfit. She's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I gift the villagers on this island. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm just not. I gift them clothes. I gift them things because honestly, personally, I think it's cute that they're walking around in March, February, wearing Santa outfits. And I think it's cute and it's a little bit funny and it gives me entertainment and joy. So I'm not going to apologize for that. You guys play the game in the way that makes you happy. I play the game in the way that makes me happy and we're all gonna be happy. I just like the way, I like the way they wear them. I think they're super cute. Look at her, she's like a little teddy bear. She's super cute. Anyways, yes, my villagers are still walking around in their Christmas outfits. Last year I gave them like um, Halloween outfits and they were walking around, maybe not last year, it was probably the last time I had like a semi-permanent island was a long time ago. So it was probably about two years ago they were wearing their Halloween outfits in like July, the next year still. They look like they were ready for the next Halloween. And I gift them a lot of things. So I guess they just pick favorites or something. I have no idea. But that's what they did and they wore them for a really, really long time. I'm not mad at it. I, I love it. I think that she looks adorable and I'm happy to give them things as long as it makes them happy. So yeah. And as I said, this is my forever island. I will save a dream address, yes, but my island's not going to be built around villagers. Um, to be fair, I do want every villager in the game, I want their photo. So I do want to actually um, cycle out villagers and bring different villagers in. Even uggos, I am like taking like half ugly, half cute villagers on this island right now. And for every uggo that I get rid of, I bring in a cutie. And for every cutie that I bring in, I, or for every cutie that I get rid of, then I bring in an uggo just kind of got to keep the balance you know we got to keep a, a good balance on this island but it looks like we are just about done with this speed build we're gonna just place a lot the last few flowers over here I really need to go to a treasure island on this island and uh, grab some things to decorate with but for the most part it looks like we did a good job we're done placing some last leaf piles I like the way it came out. It makes me happy and hopefully it makes you guys happy too. Not every build has to be large and fantastic. Some of them can just be cute and charming and fun. And this one was that. It was just fun to make. It was cute. You know, what more do you want in a build? So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know you guys could be anywhere doing absolutely anything. And you chose to spend a little bit of your time with me 
and I appreciate you so much for that. I hope everyone is doing well and being happy and healthy. Be kind to yourselves, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!